Okay, fellas, uh, I started working on this little project here a couple of days ago. A friend of mine gave me this Spartan horn. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. Spartan. Um, I'll have to do a little bit of uh, history on it. I think they were used mostly on Model A's. Uh, this one here, they had taken these tabs and folded them back over for some reason to make the slot bigger for these wires to come through on here. So I folded them back and I'm going to try and straighten it out and uh, try and restore this as much as possible. This had a big dent in it here uh, and I've been working on straightening that out. It's getting pretty nice. Unfortunately, somewhere along the line, um, somebody had painted the whole thing black and so the name tag uh, with the serial numbers and everything else is pretty much indiscernible. I cleaned it off and you can just very faintly see the numbers and stuff on it but I'm going to put it back on. I took out the original rivets which I'm going to have to try and find some replacements. Uh, they're just little tiny things like that and they flat head on the outside and then they stick in and you bend over the tabs. Very similar to a uh, cotter pin. So my intent with this project is, uh, I'm not going to call it a restoration because it's, um, my friend just asked me to get it working. I'm doing the other stuff kind of as a favor for him. He had already taken it to an electrical shop. They soldered these new wires on here. Uh, it does run, but it doesn't make any noise. And I think what has happened is that down inside, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a diaphragm down in here. And I believe it has little nubs that run and uh, hit on, nubs on the end of the shaft that hit on the nubs on that diaphragm, make the ogre song sound. So what I'm attempting to do is take this apart. And uh, I've already sprayed it down with PB Blaster last night and uh, to get it apart, these um, screws, although they've been taken apart at some point, uh, are rusted pretty well. And uh, so I'm going to try and get it apart. It has rivet heads on one side and it does have 7 16 nuts. Now that one wasn't even budge last night. This is one of the ones that was already loose. I tried some of these last night and I couldn't get them to budge, so I just sprayed them down with a PB blaster and let it set overnight. And we'll see what happens. That one actually has a lock washer on it. Okay, can you see those nubbies in here? Oh, what are they supposed to be rubbing on? I don't see any nubbies on the diaphragm. I wonder if I can find an exploded view somewhere. It has this adjustment on the top here. Uh, for adjusting the sound on it, and all it does is it pushes the shaft up and down, makes that go up and down. I don't see anything for that to rub on. I wonder if that's supposed to be over there like that. That makes more sense. If that was over there, and this rubbed against that, that could make the Uga sound. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of 
tinkering around here. Yeah, I think that's what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be off to the side, not in the middle. A little tinkering around and uh, put it back to uh, hook it up and see what happens.